hello guys welcome to this video today we are going to talk about uh, figma versus adobe xd most first the first point is this most people working in tech and design companies use figma and it is because anyone around the world can use figma due to some restrictions some countries cannot use adobe xd this makes figma very popular and again you can use figma on all computers adobe xd does not work on other versions of windows and I have a personal experience with this because this is the first problem I had when I installed an Adobe XD. I had to change my operating system from Windows 6 to the latest version of uh, Windows 10, which can be a little bit difficult, especially if you have some constraints and you really need to use a design software. Now, second thing is that non designers find Figma easy to use. Non designers that need to leave reply comment etc on the project find figma a lot easier to use and some clients complain about giving feedback using adobe xd even though it is not it is not difficult to use kind of made a mistake here it is adobe xd is easy as well but due to some reasons non-designers just find it a little bit like difficult to use compared to figma and with little updates that are coming into adobe xd now these complaints are not as common as before. Yeah. Yeah. You can use Figma as desktop app and web app. This is very common. Most people that know the two software will be able to will know this fact. I can start a project on my desktop computer, go away from it, and continue the exact project on my laptop or another computer somewhere else. This is not yet possible with Adobe XD, and it's a great function. Or a great advantage of um, Figma over Adobe XD. I can be working on my friend's laptop now, and then when I get back home, I can just continue the work. I did it something like that last week when I traveled. I didn't take my laptop with me, and I had to do some work for a friend of mine. Then we had to borrow a laptop from another friend, then I log in using my account, completed the work. Then when I came back here, I still saw the work. I did some modifications to it and things like that. This is not yet possible on Adobe XD. Now, Figma has so many plugins available that allows you to do just anything. If you need a feature and the software does not yet have it, be sure that there is a plugin of that feature. Just dig, do some digging, you are going to see it. So you are going to see it. Now, last thing for Figma is on Figma, you can see the CSS code of the design you are working on straight away. Yeah. You can see the Figma the CSS code of the design. If you are a developer, this is very handy. Like very, very handy for you. Now, for Adobe XD, Adobe XD does not require internet connection before you can use it. That's very obvious because both the Figma desktop and web app require that you have internet on your machine. Yeah. Because you have to log in onto their cloud business account, your account on the cloud, on Figma Cloud. Then you do the work there, the work will get saved there, and just like that. But Fig, uh, Adobe XD, the software is installed on your machine. You don't need to have internet connection before you can use it. In fact, I use Adobe XD to make this slide, and uh, I don't, my system is not connected to the internet. The computer is not connected to the internet, so that's one of the advantages of Adobe XD. Two, so both applications will have to update to add new features often. And I think Adobe XD is more prompt in this regard. There was a time I thought the XD team were tracking the plugin that most people use and then implement the plugin to the app. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, finally, which is the best software to use? You have this question and I believe that's the reason why you are looking for Figma versus Adobe XD. And to be honest with you, it all depends on the client you are working with. Your goal should be to make the interaction between you and your client to be as clear, easy, and efficient as possible. And if you, are, if, if you don't have any client in mind or you are just starting out or just looking for the one to go with, I believe part of your work as a designer is to be confident with these tools, both of them, including Sketch, if you, you really want to, I think, because these two are enough. But if you are just starting out, I believe the best option is to be familiar with these two subjects and if you have a client that does not require you sending the design back and forth you can go with Adobe XD and Figma is the tool to use when there is need for more collaboration with the client 
with that i've come to the end of, of this video please make sure you subscribe like and comment below if you have any questions please please don't hesitate to ask me or raise it in the comment section i'm going to answer it thank you and god bless you